The unlikeliness of us is a quote from one of the participants who took part in a project led by Anna Hart, the XD Pathway and Age UK, which involved nine BA Fine Arts students collaborating with nine members of the art group at Age UK. Thank you for that. Working in pairs... Working in pairs over a period of four months, the challenge was to cross boundaries of age and culture to see what ideas and what work might come out of it. As a pathway, the XD pathway, we are interested in how time is spent, the intimacy of what an encounter might look like, and the potential for new relationships and new meanings to evolve. I'm only part of the jigsaw. A small part of the jigsaw, but about nine of us um, paired up with people at St Martin's a few months ago. And for a long time I'd felt as if I'd fallen through the floorboards. <clears throat> I was very incapable of keeping up with technology and so on. And I felt my sell-by date had gone. But, oh joy, I paired up with Michael, I was very lucky, and we had a wonderful few weeks, really enjoyable. Doing all the things I'd longed to do, like spray, t spray painting on walls, and, uh, <laughs> and down the Waterloo Tunnel, and doing all kinds of amazing things. I'd never enjoyed myself so much, and uh, it was like double chop chip cookies. <laughs> and, uh, I didn't realize the pleasure in Art could be a shared experience because it had always been a very private thing until then. Yes, it's uh, lovely to share it rather than people just looking at the completed work and shared experiences. Uh, I was absolutely amazed at what I and my partner had in common an unexpected early life with strange similarities. And uh, I had get, got really unexpected joy from doing this and one or two other things I did earlier at UCH. UCH. <laughs> and uh, I feel alive and well and far fuller of confidence and happiness. So that's about it. May I hand you over to Michael now? <laughs> Oh, it's, it's Matthew, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it's easy to get wrong. Uh, I, so I've got well, one minute, I'm thank sorry. You, thank you, Karen. So, well, yeah, it's going to come up, up soon. So, yeah, me and Karen were paired up for three months, and um, wait, I'm just going to pause at this... Okay. okay, so I'm just going to pause at this slide. So yeah, me and Karen spent three months working together and I'm not going to kind of re kind of reshare the sentiments because I think we both feel very, very strongly connected to each other after the experience. But I'm going to go on and talk about what happened after this project, um, which was uh, which was going to be focused a little bit more on um, on this work that me and Yun, which was the, the performer there, uh, me and you and we did in Calais immediately after. Uh, so I, I start with this slide, and I think Becky also would would be um, the care for ca the the volunteering, the goods that you you collected for Calais. I think some of them actually passed through us. So it's it's funny how they all connected. Um, so I, I decided to start with this one because this was for me the moment of encounter. Um, not with Karen in particular, but with one of the refugees, and this is Salamnu, which is uh, which is a language, one of the tribal languages in Ethiopia. Um, so we've been working there for about a week, me and Yun, uh, and I, I think that this has this comes across as kind of really, really analogous to the kind of encounter that me and Karen have, sort of very, very close one to one. Um, and I thought that I, I so I'm going to continue this slide, you know, yeah. So I thought that I, I bring this up because the morning that we went to Calais was also the announcement of the EU referendum result. And so it was kind of tense, I think, the situation going there. 
And also, I thought that I'd, I'd share these pictures so that some conversations could come up about how the things that were happening in the UK, the EU, in Calais, across the world, and with our project are connected. So I think that working, what I'm going to take away from the, unit, the, the project that we did was that working closely with Karen gave me a kind of courage and a kind of impetus to decide, well, I should be engaging with this other, this so-called other, right? That there were these groups of people that would never cross paths with me, Karen, refugees, and that I should actively take a role in engaging with them as opposed to kind of taking a passive one. So also the project gave to me a kind of working methodology in that, well now it's kind of repeated now, but yeah, it gave me a kind of working methodology in how to engage with the locals there. So I think art was one of the, yeah, art was one of the key things that, that we did because we were engaged in skill sharing, language sharing, and also making work together in the camp. So yeah, that, was, that was what we wanted to share with you today. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Matthew.